everyone so doing the rear struts on a 2008-2009 Mazda Miata um, so far got the wheel taken off with the jack and the jack stand um, gonna have to take that bolt out down there on the bottom of the coil and then inside there's a whole bunch of these little um, plastic pieces basically you just stick your nails in and try to pull the center piece up and then that just comes right out um, and then these two right here are gonna sit on top of the carpet right there and right there um, But just work your way around. There's a whole bunch of little those black pieces Just look for them and then you can actually end up taking all this paneling out and then It'd be easier to see on this side. There's your um, Two bolts and then the top one for your strut and then the same thing back here. There's actually um, a couple Bolts you gotta take out to get the shield out of the way right there and right there and down there, but anyway, it's the same exact thing. Bolt right there, bolt right there, and top of your coil. Give you guys a little bit more progress once we complete it. Oh, and then it, also, if you need to look at your fuel system, I guess it's an access door right there. I'll show you a little bit more once we get this panel off. And then, if you're wondering how we got the, um, the spring off this little pin right here, it's a crowbar. Basically, you just want to stick this down here right on there like that and then whack it a couple times with the hammer like give it some solid taps and then the thing will just pop off the end all right for the record this is probably not the way to do it but this is the way that we're doing it and we, don't want to take it we already did the other side you can do it without removing any arms it's just kind of a pain so basically you just gotta like Get this tooth past the sway bar link by pushing it out while lifting up. And then at the same time, to get past each spring, the trick is to push out or towards the middle of the car on the bottom of the coil so that you can get it past the axle. And you have to go like one at a time, lift it, drop it, lift it, drop it. And eventually, you can Chinese puzzle this way out. Definitely why we didn't do this yesterday. Yep. There you go. So I gave it a. Yep. Gave my hand. And we just did like a little twisting motion. Especially like spreads the spring almost. Yeah, it gets it right next to the axle. Yeah, it's not really that bad. It's just yeah, I'm dirty. But yeah, unbolt the sway bar. That's for sure. You don't have to do the links. Just up here. Really, just, just you want to do the easy way, unbolt this thing. Yeah, the lower, if you take it off, it'll come right out. Yeah, but lower control arm, but then you have to worry about like damaging the ball this joint and the whole the thing. Yeah. And it's your alignment. It's never to fuck that shit. Yeah, because that one's alignment pull on pin, so fuck that. Yeah, but yeah, that's how you do it. And then we're gonna compress these and get them on just like this one. All right. So um, when you're replacing the actual strut on the inside. Um, make sure that you line it up properly because you're going to have to line up uh, these two bolts on the inside of the trunk and then this one from underneath. So uh, what you're going to do is basically lay it down so that these two holes are right here. Mark it with your spring and then um, make sure that this is facing up and that way you know it's in perfect alignment so it's ready to be go right back into the car. Yeah. Oh, 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 is it ready? You want to sink them down a little bit? We'll find out. No, I'm staying back here. There it goes. So we are gonna have to sink it down. We gotta do one anyway. So it's fine. Well, it um um we will need to sink it down because it didn't. It did expand a little much because if I was grabbing on this one, I think it would have been fine. Mm -hmm. But it did expand out a little much, so we are gonna. Or actually, potentially, we'll be able to push it just enough to grab threads, and then we can whatever figure it out. So, now that just lays here. And 
then that little white piece actually comes off the strut, so. Transfer it over to the new one. Yeah. Hang on, then your strut actually just pulls that right from the back. You see this pink powder stuff? It's actually just a bushing that no longer exists. But we should be replacing more nuts, so. Yeah, we don't have the bushing, so it's okay. Anyway. Um, oh, new strut. This is uh, KYB's. Where's that little bolt that goes on the end of it? Okay, nice. Yeah, so there's... It's got a tapered end. It's got to line up with the tapered end right here. Little seats right there. And then make sure you put the new it cap right on. There. And then it all slides right back in. You just got to make sure that all these pieces of fault right in here line back up. Here. Yeah, there's a... Uh... Oh, there's another one of these on the inside of this. Make sure it's lined up properly. Yeah, that one. So it actually, the, yeah, it fits like that. Oh yeah, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. It didn't fit the other way in the other one. Oh, okay. Well, that's just a lineup pin. That goes right in there. Well, once you got yeah, this threaded on a little bit, make sure that your marks are still lined up and make sure that that's facing up. And then he's gonna take that with a 17 millimeter. The 14 on the new one, so you gotta oh, yeah. take your sizes. Old one's a 17, we're actually replacing it with a 14. It's the one that came with the strut, so. Yep. And, if you stick this through here, it keeps it from spinning. And then just keep hitting. Once it stops moving, you know you're good. Now, if you're using a super powerful impact, you will break it, so just keep that away. This one's good, but it's not like one of those like $700 snap-ons. So, yeah. if you're using one of those, you'll snap it off. But also, if you're using one of those, you probably know what the fuck you're doing, so you're not watching a video. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Alright, so we're going to reinstall it in the car in a minute. Can you see that? So, just watch your fingers here. Yeah. He's gotta push it. It's gotta pull out towards you. Yeah. Oh, okay, there you go. A little bit more. Yeah, towards you. Okay, one second. There we go. On there. Hang on, hang on. What? I could tap it on right now. No, I know, but. It almost doesn't look right. Almost like it is backwards, but it doesn't make sense. Because we actually marked it and lined everything up how it should be. Good? Yeah. Nope. can really see that, but we just tapped on this. Um, inner ring right here at the hammer to get it seated back on while he was pushing down on the spindle. Got 17 on the socket, on the impact. And this is a 17 back here. Good. And there you go. Um, aftermarket shocks on a 2008 MX-5 Miata. Just takes a lot of finesse and a lot of twisting when you're trying to get it back up and you just gotta make sure that the top hat lines up properly and then pushing that way on the on the strut itself also helps you. And then you also gotta lift the, the spindle up and down just to finagle it into place. But then once you're done, you're done.